welcome to Bay About Newsroom. The headlines today, we've got photo winners, we've got merit winners, we've got house results, we've got the launch of next week's photo competition, and we've got some messages from correspondents around the country. But first, well done to all of you for getting through your first week of term. It's certainly been a challenge, uh, getting used to slightly different ways of working, and having to adapt and cope with all of the, the changes that you're going through. But well done to each and every one of you. Feedback from teachers is you're managing to get your assignments done and, and managing to get them uploaded, certainly for most of you into Google Class or back to staff. And I'm hearing that you're doing some really, really good work. So, awesome. Well done for that and keep it up, guys. Okay, so you may remember from last week that Mr. Smith launched our photo competition um, where we had to look at photos of you reading. We've had lots of it. We had a record number of entries this week. And we're just gonna show you some images of those first entries. But now we've got our first prize winners for this week, and you'll see the images just coming up just now, the third, the second, and the first prize winners from this week. So later on, we're going to hear about this week's challenge, but before we do that, we've got some merit award winners for this week. So well done to the following students. So first up, with a bronze award, Pedri Bournemouth. Also with a bronze award, Bhagavi Joklakar. A silver award this week goes to Noel Chibessa. And our first uh, gold award winner for this week, we'll get their flash drive when we come back, is Shivam Palm. So well done to all our merit winners for this week. Big round of applause to them. And at this stage, we're going to move over and hand over to Mr. Spark at our sports desk. Uh, thank you, Mr. Turner, and welcome to our sports report for this week. Um, the first thing that we're going to look at is our sports house results from last week, uh, sorry, from last term. Uh, so for term two, um, we focused on three uh, sporting events and a quiz challenge. Uh, for the sports, it was football. performances um, and uh, I must say one house certainly dominated this term. Um, so in uh, football we had um, Hawk in first place, Falcon in second place and Eagle in third place. Uh, for our netball competition we had Falcon in first place, Hawk in second place and Eagle in third place. For cross country uh, Falcon was Super, super dominant. Hawk came second. Eagle uh, came into, into third place. And in our quiz challenge, Falcon, Hawk, and Eagle. So the totals for term two, 2020, are Eagle in third place with 419 points, Hawk in second place with 503 points, and once again, for the second time this year, we have Falcon in first place with 545 points. So very, very well done to Falcon. Um, uh, this term, sports or high sports winners, very, very well done. Okay, um, this term, we are not going to be um, leaving our, our house a competition, our inter house competition um, out. So this term traditionally we normally do our sports day. Uh, we will continue with that and that will begin on the week of the 4th of May. Um, what we're going to be doing is a remote sports day. So each child will be given three events to do. A running event, a throwing event and a jumping event. Um, these results will then be posted back to the house leaders um, on their tutor groups. So they will get uh, three results back to the tutor group within the two week period. So they have an opportunity um, at least four times in their PE lessons to actually better their first throw, their first run, their first jump. Um, and they can take an average or their rather their best throw, jump and run uh, during that two week period. 
So it's good news that we aren't going to be giving up on our sports day this term. So Falcon, a challenge to you. Let's see if you can take it this term as well. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Thank you very much, Mr. Spark, from our sports desk. And now we're going to go over to our culinary reporter in the kitchen, Miss Ranger, who's going to be launching this week's photo competition. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Good morning. I'm here to introduce this week's photo competition theme. I've just made some delicious brownies. Yummy. Look at these. So, as soon as I'm done washing up here, I'm going to take my picture and make sure to submit it before Thursday. As you may have guessed, we want you to bake or make a dessert or just spend time in the kitchen. Take a picture and then submit it to the email address that will later on appear on screen. It's a great way to spend some time in the kitchen and the best part is you get to eat it too. So, looks like I'm pretty much finished here. Let's get ready to take that picture. All right, get the phone out, take the picture. What's going on here? Wait a minute, where have they gone? Where are the brownies? Huh. Looks like I just got a text from Mr. Golson. It looks like I found my brownies and my picture for next week's challenge. <laughs> Here, have a look. Back to you, Mr. Turner. Thank you, Ms. Ranger. Remember, you've got until Thursday at 14 hours this week to get your entries in. The email address is going to be coming up just now. So, our next correspondent is out on his family's farm. We're going to hand over to our head boy now, Bongi, who's just got a message for you from the family farm. Hi, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well and uh, looking after yourselves properly. Just a little message from me. I know these are trying times, very difficult times, and it's a unique experience for pretty much all of us, uh, but we shouldn't let it get the better of us. And I think one of the best ways that we can do that is if we keep living. And by that, I simply mean we still need to try to find joys in our life, even though this is a pretty overwhelming experience. Whether that's through your family, through your friends over social media, through anything that makes you happy, really. I think that could really go a long way in making this experience better for us. And yeah, that's it for me. So stay safe and keep living. Thank you very much, Bongi. You may have noticed a temperature change in the last couple of days. I certainly have. So for an update on our weather, we're just going to go out to our roaming weather correspondent out in the field. Let's talk about weather today. As you can see, I'm standing in my farm. It's a cloudy day, plenty of clouds, about 50% covered with clouds, the accumulus clouds. But sometimes the challenge we have is too much heat. When the sun comes hard, it's not good for my crops. And sometimes not good for me either. So I have to choose a better spot to sit, like in that shade over there. Last week, we mentioned one of our talented English students and talked about how she had got some very, very positive feedback on her poem. I'm very pleased to announce that we're just gonna go straight over to our roaming uh, arts reporter, Ms. Vita, who's now gonna share with us her poem. I'm gonna share with you the poem that I wrote for the Cobus Poetry Competition, titled, The Uncertainty of Time. We are powerless to the inevitable, helpless to the predestined. We cannot foresee her, we cannot contest her. Bold, all-consuming, irrational, inescapable, an act. Our only hope? To swear. Quick, make a wish, cross your fingers, and pray for a miracle as you stumble through life blindfolded, wandering, pondering, questioning, considering. What's on the next page? Can we rewrite it? She rose from the genesis, arms wrapped snugly around the universe. She observed silently, entranced by the bustling human activity. 
delighted by a man's simple efforts to woo his lady friend, incensed by the violence plaguing the earth, another stabbed victim. The light glances, quick touches, brisk walks, lazy strolls. She cannot understand them. It frustrates and pleases her. She's a wild card, dealing punishments and rewards in her wake. Death, devastation, wreckage, party, joy, happiness, prosperity. She dishes what she thinks you deserve. Reshaping worlds, changing lives, controlling time. Our challenge, to be in her favor today. Hoping she blesses us tomorrow. We count to eight. Thank you, Masvita. And as we get close to closing, I'd like to say a big thank you to Summer in Year 13, who has provided the background music during our news broadcast this morning. Which brings us to the end of our news broadcast, which means it's goodbye from me. Guys, keep fit, stay safe, have a good, good weekend.